the lexicon or vocabulary also form an important component of a second language learner and his learning endeavors. It's also an important part of second language acquisition research and many studies have been based on learners' effort and need to get new words. Similarly, the errors in vocabulary are also considered to be one of the crucial ones as we could also see one of the most common errors which, which occur with second language learners are those are related to their vocabulary learning. We could see that the lexical errors may be more disruptive as compared to grammatical errors because grammatical errors might end up with the structures which may be wrong but might convey meanings to a listener or a learner. But lexical errors might create serious hindrance in communication and might change the meaning altogether. There are certain categories of lexical knowledge and we could understand them in certain dichotomies. For example, uh, the dichotomy of production and reception. There are certain productive or uh, receptive skills which are needed uh, needed to be understood in the acquisition of a vocabulary. We could see there are different uh, levels of a learner's acquisition of vocabulary. In this regard, nation gives us certain essential features or a certain ne necessary word types or its learning components which must belong to a successful learner. For example, a successful learner should be able to recognize or understand the form of a word, both the spoken and written form. Written form we could see in spellings and spoken in the sounds. He should also be able to understand the meaning and meaning in, the con in a context as well. That means uh, pragmatic meanings. He should also be able to uh, decipher various concepts related to a word and the association, various words that come to mind when we listen a certain word. Similarly, as I said earlier, he should be clear about the grammatical functions of a word. He should also be familiar with the collocations, the words which usually co-occur in the communication in, in a certain language, especially in second language, in relation to second language acquisition. And he should also be should also be aware of the constraints on the use of a word. For example, we see that in case of registers, because a certain kind of words may be used in a certain discussion when it, when it is related to a register. So a good user must be familiar with such constraints. All these skills we, I have talked so far are related to receptive knowledge. Generally speaking, the receptive knowledge of words includes recognizing the word, knowing the general meaning of a word, knowing uh, about its various components of which it is made of, knowing various connotations it might uh, give in form of meanings, and knowing the opposite of that word that would further clarify the meaning. In contrast, productive knowledge includes knowing all these things more precisely. For example, and more specifically, knowing how to accurately pronounce a word or spell it, then knowing the precise meaning of a word and those meaning in a, in a certain context, and knowing the precise context of the use of that word. Learners generally have a wider range of receptive knowledge of vocabulary as compared to productive knowledge of the vocabulary. This is what has generally been observed in case of second language acquisition. Another important distinction is between the actual or real vocabulary and potential vocabulary. Potential vocabulary is which, which, which is assumed to be possibly attained by a second language learner based on, on his current knowledge or exposure to second language.
Some important concepts in, in this regard are also the definitions of knowledge and control. Knowledge refers to the way in which the language system is represented in the mind of a learner. In comparison, control is, is the system through which we control the working of that knowledge. In other words, the way we control the performance of that knowledge in the actual use of a language. Breadth and depth of knowledge related to vocabulary are important concepts and are very important in vocabulary learning. We could see breadth includes the number of words a learner might know in relation to a certain second language. And depth includes the quality or the usefulness of those words in terms of communication. Most of the researchers believe that both breadth and depth of vocabulary are important to make a comprehensible communication in a second language.